Hello. People living in care homes are more vulnerable to developing infections. The best way to fight infection is to prevent it in the first place. The best way to stop infection spreading is hand cleaning with soap and water or an alcohol-based rub. There are five important times when you should clean your hands. Before providing care, immediately after providing care, immediately after you have come into contact with body fluids, immediately after touching a person's surroundings such as their bed sheets, chair or door handle, and as soon as you take off protective gloves. Help the people you care for to wash their own hands, especially before food and after toileting. Use soap and water where there is diarrhoea, vomiting, flu or when your hands are visibly dirty. Always keep your arms bare below the elbows. Keep your fingernails clean and short. Do not wear nail polish, false nails or stoned rings. Cover up any cuts or grazes with waterproof dressings. When someone is unwell with an infectious illness, you must take extra precautions to stop it spreading. These include keeping the person in their own room away from others, wearing aprons and gloves to protect yourself, clearing away soiled linen or clothing appropriately, washing hands immediately after removing aprons and gloves and before leaving the room, cleaning equipment after every use, and deep cleaning the person's room and bathroom using a chlorine-based product. Your manager will be able to give you advice on managing infectious illnesses. You must contact Public Health England and start outbreak precautions if more than one person have the same symptoms. As a carer, you are encouraged to get your yearly flu jab. This helps to protect you the people you care for and your family. Help the people you care for to get vaccinated against infectious illnesses. This includes flu, pneumococcal and shingles vaccinations. The GP will be able to give advice about vaccinations which are free to the young, elderly and those with certain medical conditions. Some people you care for will have catheters which increase the risk of developing a urinary tract infection. There are some things you can do to reduce the risk. Make sure catheters are changed regularly as directed by the person's care plan. Do not let the catheter bag overfill. Keep the catheter bag off the floor but below the person's bladder. Help the person keep their catheter insertion site clean. Use a fixation device to stop the catheter from causing pain and discomfort. Regularly review whether the person still needs a catheter with the GP. If you have any questions about looking after a catheter, please speak to your manager. Preventing infection is important and everyone has a role to play.